What if your nervous system had a secret switch that controlled whether you feel safe, anxious, or shut down entirely? That's the heart of the polyvagal theory. Developed by Dr. Stephen Porges, the polyvagal theory helps explain how your body reacts to stress using three pathways, not just fight or flight. First, meet your vagus nerve, a superhighway of signals between your brain and body, influencing heart rate, digestion, and emotional response. The polyvagal theory says this nerve has two main branches, one that helps you feel calm and social, and another that triggers shutdown when danger feels overwhelming. Let's break it down. When you feel safe, your ventral vagal system is in charge, encouraging calm, connection, and social engagement. But when danger shows up, real or imagined, your body flips to sympathetic mode, triggering fight or flight, faster heart rate, shallow breathing, and alertness. If that still doesn't work and you feel helpless, your system may shut down entirely. Enter dorsal vagal mode, like a turtle retreating into its shell. These three states, social, fight or flight, and freeze, are your nervous system's survival responses, constantly scanning for danger, even when you're not aware. Here's the twist. These states aren't conscious decisions. They happen automatically based on cues from your environment, a process called neuroception. That's why someone might overreact to small triggers. They're not weak. Their nervous system just detects a threat, even if their mind doesn't. So how can we use this knowledge? The key is regulation, using breath, movement, and connection to shift back into a state of safety. Think of your nervous system like a ladder. The goal isn't to avoid stress, it's to climb back up to safety when you fall. The polyvagal theory gives us a map, not to avoid emotion, but to understand it, navigate it, and create better relationships with ourselves and others. So next time your heart races or you shut down, remember, it's not weakness, it's biology, and understanding it is the first step toward healing. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more psychology explained simply, because your brain deserves better stories.